The final stop for this year's Grouse Camp Tour was in North Carolina and Georgia, where we met with local chapter members to discuss habitat and hunting in that region. In North Carolina, we met with Jim Gray, who has dedicated countless hours of time advocating for young forest habitat in that region. What's going to happen to our forests if we don't start managing, managing them now? What's the biggest threat? The biggest threat is continued decline of wildlife. It's just going to keep going downhill. We can look at the statistics that the North Carolina Wildlife Commission produces on grouse flushes, uh, deer harvest in these game lands, and uh, it's just on a long downhill slope, and, and that'll just continue. One thing that jumped out to me was the willingness for grouse hunters in this area to think about future generations of grouse hunting. They actually took a 19-year-old college student, Noah Smith, under their wing to show him how hunting used to be and what grouse hunting in that area can be in the future. Without grouse conservation, the bird wouldn't exist and uh, my dogs wouldn't have anything to chase that's, that's truly wild. And I think that's what makes it special. Another gentleman we met in Georgia was Amani Seahorn, an 83-year-old grouse hunter who's still climbing the mountains of Georgia. He also has spent countless hours of his life advocating for the future of young forest habitat and the future of grouse populations in northern Georgia. I'm interested in all wildlife, but especially I'm a grouse hunter and I like to hunt grouse and that's, that's the main thing and I know I know what habitat management can do for them because I'm old enough to have experienced when you had the habitat, you had a lot of grouse here. Didn't, I didn't have to drive 1,200 miles to find a grouse. At your age right now, why do you care about still fighting for grouse conservation? I'm not willing to let the Forest Service get away with not doing what they should be doing on their own. There are grouse in Georgia and it shows the potential that if we do proper forest management in that area, that populations can rebound and that area could potentially again be a destination, destination area for grouse hunting. I just wanted to go on record that we grow more timber volume in a day here in Nantahala National Forest than we harvest in a year and I think that should change.